think this is question number five. It's five, I believe. Suppose a consumer has an income of 30. Let's write that down. Income equals 30. That is spent on two goods, X and Y. The price of good X is $3. P of X equals 3. And P of Y equals 1. The price of good to Y is $1. Which of the following bundles of X and Y lie in the individual's budget constraint? So the first one is, first of all, our tutor says, this tells us that the maximum amount that can be spent is $30 or less than $30. Now, if we want to know, if we want to buy good X and Y in different quantity, the total price should not go beyond 30 and that's what we're looking for. So the first one is a quantity of good X. So the first one would be, wow, I don't know what just happened there. The first one would be eight multiplied by three plus, and it's, six quantities of good y so this would be six multiplied by one and that gives us 24 plus six equals 30. so this is exactly within our budget constraint because our income is 30 dollars and it's exactly 30 dollars i will be spending on eight amounts of good x and six amounts of good y now let's see for the second option, which is six of X and eight of Y. Let me erase this as well. So the first one, we have enough money, it's it within our budget constraint. The second one is six of good X. So again, it would be six multiplied by three plus eight multiplied by one. This is equal to 18 plus eight equals 26. Again, this is below $30. So this falls just under our budget constraint and we can make this consumption. And let's see the rest. We now have eight amounts of good X so a multiplied by three and 10 of good y 10 multiplied by one so this is 24 plus 10 equals 34. so we can't consume eight amounts of good x and 10 of good y because it's going to cost more than we have because 34 is more 34 dollars that it costs is more than our income of 30 dollars so this does not lie on our budget constraint. It actually lies outside of it. And let's see the fourth one. So be 12 of good X. So that's 12 multiplied by three and four multiplied by one. Right away, we already know this can't lie on the budget constraint or inside it. So it's outside because 12 multiplied by three is 36 plus four, that's 40. <coughs> so this again is outside of our budget constraints. And finally, the last one of 16 of good X and six of good Y. We don't even need to do the math here, but we're gonna do it. Cause you know, 16 multiplied by three is already more than 30. It's six multiplied by one, so that's 48 plus six, which is 54. And again, that's way outside of our budget constraint because our income is only $30. Our tutor said, number one is within our budget constraint. 
Number two, yes again, it comes inside our budget constraint. Number three, no, because 34 is obviously greater than 30. Number four, 40 again is obviously greater than 30, so it's outside of our budget constraint. And number five, 54 is way outside of our budget constraint, so therefore only one and two will be in our budget constraint, and that's correct.